and there's all my information I just want to open this so you can see there's my latitude longitude my level so there's the all the features I've put in point ID feature name and there it starts with the information that uh, that we put in in the field so the point number is that condition the comments they put in the date and the time we've taken it and there is the photos that it's downloaded so it will give you a path to the photos so what I can do or what I normally do here is hyperlink this <coughs> link there it's just something that I that I like to do so I take all this this whole path there copy that paste it into this address and then I change this name to photo and then I say OK so now that's a link so if you click on that then your photo will open on your spreadsheet so that's your whole spreadsheet and then you click on a link and it shows you a photo about that it's just unfortunately my hyperlink stopped working so I can't access it at the moment there's something um, wrong on my computer uh, so I'm just going to copy this and show you what it will look like or what it will open as um, I see it doesn't want to just want to copy the hyperlink here yeah. because normally if you just click on this hyperlink then the photo should open so I just want to show you what it will look like um, I'm just going to copy that whole path for where the photo is saved copy and just put it into my internet browser here just to show you what then it will open like that and then you'll see the photo of that feature of yours whatever you've taken see there's a man all there <coughs> and then you can close it and you can do that with all of your photos if you want it's just something that uh, I do up to you just gonna close that show you another format you can download your features into so also if I go utilities and I go export sample configurable ASCII setup uh, I'm gonna choose sample KML setup <coughs> excuse me uh, this is uh, for Google Earth so if you want to export your data to Google Earth you click on this KML setup and you also export wherever you want to export it to I'm gonna leave it in that project folder and say OK. So just wait till it. Here we go. So now also I'm going to just click on that folder to take me to my project folders to open export. <coughs> and there is an extra folder and there is my KMZ file. So you look for the KMZ file. And this is the file you can just double click it if you have Google Earth installed on your computer. You can just double click it and it will open in Google Earth. And it will also take all this information that you've done with it associated to each point in Google Earth. So I'm just waiting for mine to open. <coughs> Don't know why it's taking so long. Oh, here we go.
and there we go so you can see where you've worked there's a manual that I've taken if you click on your point then you'll see all your information that you've done in the field you can sh see the condition of the manual is good it's a uh, manual in the road there's a date and a time you've inspected it and the picture that you can click and it will open same with your other points all your points also the picture you can open and that's all the information on that certain point okay so that's your KML setup let me uh, discard this close this and also you can export shape files now also all of these export formats that you've got yeah you can go and click on the properties and you can change it the way you want it to export it for you so there's new Esri shape file for shape files that you can go also properties <clears throat> and once you've set up the properties at the way that you want it then you'll never have to do it again unless you go and change it yourself so I just want to go through some of the properties here uh, data yes all feature types output so you can say combine all the files and auto generate a new folder I like this option because it uh, by default I think Pathfinder is selected on this option here yeah. I like to use this option so it puts all the files and it auto generates a folder for me so also attributes like you can add whatever you want here coordinate systems and then when you're done you say ok and then you can go ok to export your file it will tell you no projection has been found. Do you wish to continue? You say yes. Close this. Check everything is exported. You can close it. And then once again, I'm just going to open that. Go to export. Because it's where it's exporting all my files. And it's created a new folder for you. Open that. And here's all your shape files. There's your shape files for the manual. For the area you've taken, for the line you've taken, for the point that you've taken. Okay. And that's all your shape files. So that's uh, your basic exporting utility um, in Pathfinder Office.